Hi, and welcome to Flipping My Classroom with Geometry. This is a brief introduction video of what is going to be happening in my geometry classes for the rest of this year. <clears throat> We're going to institute a concept called Flipping the Classroom. So, real briefly, I'm going to go through why we're doing this, uh, the advantages and disadvantages, and hopefully a uh, look at the desired outcome. <clears throat> when we talk about flipping the classroom, we're not changing what we teach. We're just changing the order in which we teach it. So in other words, what typically would happen is a child would come in and I would do my lesson. And for 90% of the period, they would sit there, listen to me, and take notes. Then we would try a few sample questions. And then the child would go home and for 10% of the class they might be able to work on their homework or ask questions. But the majority of the work would be done at home and then brought back to class the next day. When we flip the classroom, what we do is I record these notes. I record the sample questions and have them do a couple of practice questions. That is what their homework would entail. When they come back to the class, they would then you do the application of the information. So basically they would then do what traditionally was their homework in class. This would allow me to differentiate instruction. It allows me to get 100% engagement in the classroom because every time they come in they then would be working on work needed for the class. Uh, it allows me to put them in cooperative learning groups traditionally in stations of four where they're able to peer teach as well as uh, ask questions from their peers and me and it uses an engagement process which is not your typical classroom. I can then group them by achievement level, I can move them around and get all the kids who are maybe missing a particular concept in one spot and show them specifically what's going on. If there's a general question I see revolving around the room, I can address each problem. And the idea is <coughs> that the mundane stuff or the stuff traditionally that they would do at home uh, would be finished in front of me and they can ask questions. And then the things that they really don't need me for, which would be the notes, uh, they have the advantage of being able to pause it, rewind it, replay it, re-listen to it, and it becomes an extension of the homework. Um, this is so that there's two things that are accomplished. One, there's more learning being done in class. And that means when they get things wrong, they're able to correct it. <clears throat> and they should be taking more notes at home because they now have the advantage of slowing down the teacher or pausing it and then going back and hearing something they may have missed. Um, this also increases the amount of uh, help that they can get later. So if they don't finish something or they want their parents to help them, many parents have not had geometry in a long time, they can hear how I'm instructing them and then be able to look at the information that they're doing and try and uh, be engaged with their kids. Most of these videos will last anywhere from uh, 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, most of them are only 10 minute long. And we should see an improvement not only in comprehension but in general understanding of what we're really doing. 
uh, again, we're not learning anything different. We're just doing it in a different order, uh, trying to get more work from the student, especially the critical work, which is what I would consider the homework, now is flipped. And they're working on that stuff in class because that's usually where they have the most questions. <clears throat> and then the notes and the note taking and the studying of definitions and being able to re revisit the information later before tests is also needed. All right. Uh, and then last but not least, I'm going to share with you uh, what I do every before every test. Uh, the night before. For approximately an hour, I always go online and do an Illuminate session, which is an online conference office where I go through and basically study with the kids for an hour before uh, the day before a test. Um, last one was a lot more productive than the first three I've had. The first three I had, I sat there by myself and no one came. So we worked on logging in with all the kids at school. Every child has done this. Uh, they have gone through the process at school and then I've told them to do the same process at home. Uh, I will always post on their portal page the link to get to the online review. If they happen to miss it, I always record it and all they have to do is look for the recording on the same day and um, listen to it now they can't ask any questions obviously because it's a recording but they still should be able to uh, get a pretty good study uh, with everybody else asking questions all right well i thank you for listening to my video and uh have a great evening first lesson will be for chapter five thank you and good night